Hi, it's Laura from Club Pilates. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me today. We will be doing a mat class, of course, a mat class with some other apparatuses involved. You just need a mat or carpet. Uh, it can be solo or what we're calling today's class, Pilates, Partners, and Prosecco. Prosecco doesn't come till the end though. Um, so just grab your mat, uh, a towel if you have it, um, and a chair would be great too. So, and make sure you have water for hydration. Uh, I just want you to clear your minds, think positive thoughts, and we will be doing a lot of balance work today, strengthening, lengthening, and flexibility. And we will be laughing and having some fun, which I think we all need. I know we've been quarantined in, and if you have somebody there that uh, has been a couch potato, <laughs> uh, hasn't been working out the way they should, grab that person and let's work out together. It will be fun. And make sure that you're following us on all our social media sites. And please post comments, suggestions. We'd love to hear from you, but we'd also like to see you. So we want to see what you're doing uh, when you're following along with the programs, the all the different classes that we're putting out there on YouTube for you. Um, just hoping that we can see your smiling face really soon back in the studio. So let's grab that partner, but you can also do it solo. And we will get started with our exercise routine. Let's have fun. So let's get started with our partners in Pilates. This is Brent. He's going to be working out with me today. And we um, just want to get started with one of the most important parts of our exercise, and that's breath. And that's Zara, by the way, <laughs> walking by, wanting to say hi. So we want to do a nice cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. We want to take an inhale through the nose, three-dimensional here, through the lungs, breathing, and exhale through the mouth, belly button going towards the spine. Inhale again, exhale. Like you just got punched in the belly. Inhale, exhale. Engaging the abdominals on that exhale, like you're trying to fog up a mirror. One more time, inhale, exhale. Okay, we're gonna get started back to back. And if you're doing this program solo, you can use the wall. We're gonna try to put equal weight pressure against each other. We want our feet hip width distance apart in parallel position. We are going to walk our way out to a squatted position and we're going to do some footwork to get warmed up. So we are going to go down into the squatted position, making sure that your knees are over your ankles, okay? And we're just going to lift and lower. You can have your hands on your thighs. Three, four, ready? Three, two, one, and bring it up. And let's shake it out a little bit. I'm sure your quads are burning. We're gonna stand back to back and have our feet into a Pilates V. We're gonna zip our inner thighs up. We're gonna engage our glutes and our abdominals, and we're just gonna lift and lower, lift, and lower, lift, lift. Warming up our feet, warming up our legs, our glutes, breathing. Three, two, one, great job. All right, let's face each other. You can grab your partner's hands. We are going to go into second position with externally rotated feet. We're going to squat down, and we're gonna come up onto the balls of our feet, lift and lower. Working the inner thighs here, and balance. We're gonna hold up on our balls of our feet, hold up, and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it up. Woo, all right, good job. Okay, let's take the palm.
palms of our hands together. And let's engage our arms here. What we're going to do is a step back lunge. I'm going to start with my right foot. We're going to step back and lunge down. Okay, you got it? Get your balance. All right, and down. Perfect, 90 degree. Up and down for 10. Pressing against the hands. And one, and bring it up. All right, and let's do the other leg. Engage your arms. All right, and lower. Making sure that your hips are square, your abdominals are engaged. Nice, beautiful, long spine, growing tall through the crown of your head. Working, Woo, those quads are getting hot right now. And one, and good job. High five, all right, good job. All right, we're gonna come down to a sitting position now. Whew. And we're gonna do bridging. <clears throat> Brent's gonna have his heels come close to his um, sit bones, okay? We are gonna lay back. We're gonna do a slow roll down here. Nice articulation of the spine, slowly rolling down. Okay, I am going to have my heels on his knees. Okay, all right, making sure that your pelvis is stable, we are just going to do a hinge bridge up to a beautiful diagonal. So we're gonna inhale, and then on the exhale, hinge up. Inhale, exhale. And making sure that you keep your feet at a nice, like it's against the, the wall, toes pointed to the ceiling. Arms engaged down by your side. Inhale, exhale, hinge up, and hold for three, two, one, and inhale, exhale, lower. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, exhale, and up, and hold for three, two, one, inhale, exhale, and lower. Making sure we're keeping any strain out of our neck, like you have a tennis ball under your chin. All right, one more time. Inhale, exhale, hinge up, and hold for three, two, one, and back down. <clears throat> this time we're gonna articulate. I'm coming down to the arches of my feet on his knees, and we're going to take a nice inhale, on the exhale, we're gonna peel off the mat one vertebrae at a time, okay? Up into a beautiful bridge. Inhale, on the exhale, one vertebrae at a time, back down on the mat, ending with a heavy tailbone there. Inhale, exhale, start to peel off the mat, pelvis to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. Bring it back down, one vertebrae at a time. Every vertebrae wants to be invited to the party that we're having right now. <laughs> Inhale, exhale one more time. This time we're gonna hold it up. And I'm going to do a unilateral leg lift to the ceiling. And he's going to do a 45 degree lift out and hold and bring it down. And we're holding, don't let the bum drop. Engaging the abs and glutes, and then we wanna to repeat to the other leg. Unilateral, I'm 90 degrees to the ceiling with a pointed toe, and he's 45 degrees. And hold, and bring it down. And then inhale, exhale, roll it down. We're gonna bring the soles of our feet together now. <clears throat> a little bit more bridging here. We're going to inhale, and it's a hinge bridge. We're not articulating now. <clears throat> inhale, on the exhale, we're going to hinge up. Inhale, exhale, hinge down. 
inhale, exhale, hinge up, beautiful diagonal, breathing, inhale, exhale, lower down. Making sure you're trying to keep even weight distributed through the feet. Let's try it one more time. Inhale, exhale, hinge up. Holding for three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, and bring it back down. Great job. All right, we're gonna sit up now. Just do a little stretching. We're gonna put our legs out to a beautiful V position. We're going to have our feet touching on our sits bones. If you can, it's all based on your flexibility. Uh, I'm more flexible than he is. That's okay. You can soften your knees. That helps with it. If you're flexible enough, you can keep a nice straight leg. We're going to grab each other's hands and he's going to pull me towards him slowly <laughs> as I get a nice hamstring stretch. And I want to keep my shoulders away from my ears. Your shoulders need to be down, away from your ears, down, your back, engaged. All right, now I'm going to pull him towards me, making sure you're breathing through your stretch. Inhale, exhale, and up. And you can pull me once more. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, I'm feeling a good stretch. Inhale. Exhale. And come up. And I'm going to pull him again. Inhale. Exhale. You feeling it through your hamstrings? Feeling a nice stretch? Oh my God. Yep. Inhale. Exhale. Up. And one more time. Trying to keep my shoulders out of my ears. Inhale. Exhale. Recycling my spine up. And one more time for Brent. Inhale and exhale and bring it up. Okay, now we're going to bring our legs together and I'm going to take my left leg over my right leg. Straighten this. And we're just going to do a spine stretch. So I put my elbow to my knee and just do a look behind as you just let your spine decompress. And now we're going to switch legs. Inhale and exhale. Back to center. And let's do that one more time. Nice rotation through your core, working the powerhouse. Inhale, exhale, back to center. And let's make it even. Inhale, exhale, rotation back. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Great. All right, now we're going to do an abdominal series. So let's get repositioned for that. <clears throat> We're going to do a roll down. We're going to do a roll down. So, yep, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time using your core. We're going to bring our knees into tabletop and we are going to have the soles of our feet together. Okay? You're going to use your hands as a hammock behind your head and you're not going to be pulling on your neck. You're using your abdominals here, engaging them. All right, we're just going to do a flexion or, or a crunch, and we're just going to lift and lower now. So we're gonna lift into your crunch, hold for three, two, one, and bring it down. And lift, three, two, one, bring it down. Inhale, exertion, exhale, breathe out. Three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, work in those abdominals, the transverse abdominals, those deep abdominals, and bring it down. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Can we raise one more vertebrae up? Inhale, 
exhale, bring it down. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, exhale, crunch up. Try to find one more vertebrae off the mat. Engage those abs. Inhale, exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, exhale, and hold up. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, good job. All right, let's bring our feet down. Do a nice stretch, hands overhead. Whew. Stretch out those abs. <clears throat> because we're gonna go for a bicycle ride now. All right, so soles of feet back together. All right, so hands behind the head again. We wanna to come to a crunch, flexion up, and we're just going to go back and forth like we're riding a bicycle. While holding up in our flexion, working the abdominals, breathing, Belly button to the spine as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, bring it down. All right. Whew, all right. Nice. Now we're going to work our obliques. We're going to do a crisscross. So we're bringing our legs back to tabletop, finding the soles of the feet, hands behind our head in that head hammock, and we're going to start to bicycle, and we're going to crunch up to the knee as it comes in. And you can do this at your own pace, just making sure you have good form and that you're raising the shoulder blade off of the mat and getting the obliques when you come up, the internal obliques are engaged and breathing. Two, and one more. All right, and bring it down. Okay, we're gonna do one more abdominal series here. Let's put our soles of our feet together, and we're gonna have them go straight up to the ceiling, and we're gonna try and touch our toes with our fingertips. So hands up, and we're just gonna crunch up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna hold up here for five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Whew, all right, great job. Okay, now we're just gonna do a roll up. Hands over your chest, up to the ceiling. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on his feet so that he can roll up. <laughs> and we're gonna take an inhale, and we're gonna tuck our chin and come up to sitting. Inhale, exhale, tuck the chin and come up to sitting. <laughs> Good job, all right, Woo! all right. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our four point kneeling series. So we are gonna to come to our hands and knees. So, yeah, you're gonna line up right here. All right, facing that way, sorry. Okay, so we're working, making sure our hips in line with our knee, that our shoulders are in line with our wrists and hands, okay? So this is called the bird dog, making sure you have a nice flat back. And we're gonna raise our right <clears throat> arm up and extend the left leg out to a beautiful, long, balanced hold here, pointing your toe, keeping your head in line with your spine. 
three, two, one, and bring it down. <clears throat> now that we're going to take the other hand out and the opposite leg and hold. Beautiful long line breathing. And we're going to hold for three, two, one. And we're going to repeat that move. This time we're going to do it that we're going to lower and lift our leg, our heels going towards the ceiling. So right arm out, left leg long, force it, flex your foot, so flex the foot, toes are pointed down to the floor, and we're just going to lift up for 10, nine, engaging the glutes, breathing, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. We're gonna to repeat to the other side, heel, Foot flexed and 10, 9, 8, 7, keeping your balance, engaging the glute. 3, 2, 1, and we're going to bring that down. And we're going to do one more. We're going to take our right hand out, left leg long. We're going to flex it and we're going to raise the sole of our feet to the ceiling. Trying to raise that roof with our foot up for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. We're going to repeat to the other side. Nice long line. Flex the foot, sole of the foot to the ceiling, and raise. Are those glutes burning yet? Hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Woo! It's working the balance, keeping that core engaged to hold your balance. Three, two, one, and lower down. Good job. Let's come back to a rest position. Child's pose. Take a nice inhale and exhale. We're going to come back up to the four point kneeling, making sure you have proper alignment. And we're going to do a nice stretch for the spine, nice massage for the spine. And this is called the cat and cow. So we are going to do a flexion up, having our belly button go towards our spine. Inhale and exhale, holding up. Nice capital C curve in your spine. Inhale, exhale, now let it all release. Head comes up as your belly button goes down towards the mat. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna bring it back up to the cat position. Beautiful flexion of the spine, nice massage here. Decompression of the spine. Inhale, exhale, let it all release. Oh, abdominal stretch, nice abdominal stretch. Inhale, exhale one more time, up, Inhale, exhale, and release. Great job. All right, now we're going to go into our planking series. So we're going to start with um, facing each other. Um, so I'm going to move over here. And you can start on your forearms, and you can have your knees. I think I'm out of room. I think we're going to get to go diagonal. Sorry. All right. So start on your forearms. And you can lift your knees. Stay on your knees. We're just going to do a preparatory plank and let our knees hover over for three, two, one. All right. And bring it down. Now you can uh, progress your plank to your hands. And then we're going to step our feet out to a nice, long, beautiful plank. And we're holding. Hello. <laughs> Making sure that you have your abdominals engaged. If I came and touched your belly button, it would be towards your spine. Your glutes are engaged. The closer your feet are together, 
the more challenging the plank is. Now, we are just going to take our right hand and touch each other's shoulder. Left hand. Trying to hold your plank. Breathing. For three, two, one, and drop your knees and go back into a rest position. Inhale and exhale. Great job. All right, we're going to come on the mat facing each other for our side planks. So making sure everything is in line. I'm going to have my top foot staggered in front or you can stack your feet. I'm going to be on my forearm, okay? And we're going to lift up off the mat on our forearm. Elbows should be directly under our shoulder. You can touch your obliques here to make sure they're engaged. High five. <laughs> As we hold, bring it down. High five. And back, high five. <laughs> and again, and we're smiling through our planks here. <laughs> and one, and release. Whew, all right, great job. We're going to do that one more time, and we're going to do hip dips. So we're just going to dip our hip down and up just an inch. All right, inhale, exhale, come up to your side plank. You can have your hand on your hip, and we're just going to lower and lift, lower and lift. Making sure you're breathing through this. Nice, beautiful, long plank. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew, let's come down on our arm, long arm here, and just stretch out that oblique. <laughs> Give your partner a smile. Great job. Now we get to do the other side. So let's switch over to the other side. All right. Once again, on your forearm. And if you're a pro, you can actually come up to your hand and do your plank this way too. I'm staying on my forearms today because my wrists are a little, uh, are weak today. <laughs> so. Um, if you would like to do the half plank, you can. Would you Change like to do that? Right okay, so having your feet stacked, making sure you have a beautiful long line, everything engaged, and we're going to come up into our plank and give me a high five. And again. <laughs> Three, two, one, and bring it down. Okay. We're going to do that one more time and we're going to dip our hip and let's raise up to our plank hand on our hip and lower and lift breathing making sure that oblique's engaged making sure the glutes are engaged three two one and bring it down and just stretch that arm out. All right, good job. Once again, <laughs> good job. All right, now let's come up. And we're just gonna do one more plank for you. And this is a little bit more advanced. So making sure that uh, you have a doctor's <laughs> uh, permission to do this. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of balance uh, and it takes someone that's on the base of the plank to be engaged and, and very strong. All right, so he's going to go into a plank, making sure he has the proper form. Okay, I am then going to go into a plank also, putting my feet on his shoulders, hands on his ankles. And then I'm coming up to my plank. And we're gonna hold this as long as we can. And if you're really good, you could do 
a couple push-ups here. <laughs> okay. No, 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 I didn't know. Oh, okay. I'm holding. Whew. Can we hold it for 10 more seconds? Engage the abdominals. Glutes. Breathing. And three, two, one. And you can bring it down. And off. All right. Do you need to do a rest? <laughs> All right, good job, thank you, Whew. All right, let's do this. Oh, all right, we're standing. Good, everything good? We're gonna take our hands, crisscross to her in, a, in an X, clamping our hands together. Feet are gonna be hip width, and we're gonna do some curtsy lunges now. So we're just taking our foot behind us, like we're doing a little curtsy, and up. Okay, so we will stay on the same side for 10. So we'll stay on the same side, same leg. Sorry about that. Making sure that your knee is not going over your toe, over your toes. And two, and one. All right, and let's repeat to the other side. Shoulders down, engage abs, and curtsy, and up. This is also balance. You can hold hands, or you can have your hands on your hips. forearms. <clears throat> Our feet are hip width distance and it's like you're going to be sitting back into a chair. Okay, so we're just going to go back and up. Just be watching that your partner's knees are in line with the ankle. If you're solo, just have your arms out in front of you and do your squats or over your head. Quads should be warming up really good right now. Engage those glutes at the top. Squeeze them together. Let's keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Whew. let's work it out. Let's do a quick quad stretch here. I'm gonna take your hand and let's just grab a hold of our foot by the ankle and stretch out that quad. So I've got a hold of my ankle. I want to take that hip and make sure that it's in line. Everything's in line but I'm pushing it forward, and you get a nice quad stretch there. And breathing. And let's switch. And balance. All right. Great job, okay. All right, we're just gonna do a couple more exercises <clears throat> for the outer thigh area, the adductors. So just get equal weight distributed on your feet because what we're gonna do is take our leg out to the side. We're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Having your foot flexed, really engaging through the adductors, the glutes. Three, two, one, and 
let's repeat to the other side. Inhale, exhale, and up and down. Ooh. You may feel one side is tighter than the other. You have balance better on one side than the other. Mind-body connection, mind-muscle connection. Do Pilates do life? <laughs> and you're only as young as your spine, as Joseph Pilates would say. And two, and one. Okay, one more exercise. We're just going to take the heel back. We're just going to back and forward. Back, touch toes, back, <laughs> flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Three, two, one, and switch feet. Okay, so flex, point, flex. Flex, point, <laughs> flex, point, flex, point, flex, 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 flex. We're having fun. We're smiling. We're still smiling at each other. <laughs> Patience, right? Flex, point, flex, point. He's a really good sport. We're doing this with me. But I think it's important. It shows that partners can work out. It shows that men can do Pilates. We need more men doing Pilates for flexibility. It would improve your golf swing. It improves tennis swing. It improves your flexibility, your lengthening, strengthening. So he's, uh, he's doing a great job and I, I appreciate his help today. So all right, so we're gonna do another stretch so we are just going to have our feet a little bit wider than our hips and parallel number 11s. Just put your hands together and all I want you to do is to press back with your bum, soften knees, and this is a great hamstring stretch. Inhale and exhale through that stretch. Whew, lengthening. Here's the lengthening for you, the flexibility. Then three, two, one, and release. And we're going to do that one more time. And go back. Soften knees. Push that booty back. Woo! We did a lot of work with our glutes and hamstrings today. Need to stretch those out. Make sure you drink plenty of water too. Keep you hydrated. And three, two, one. Great job. We're just going to do another exercise for upper body. I had told you early on if you had a chair to grab it. So we are going to do some tricep work now and if you are solo you can use your chair or box and just pump those triceps okay if you're together with a partner I'm going to be on his knees feet out on my heels and we're going to lower and lift lower lift. chest to the ceiling Three, two, one, and rest. And we're going to do one more set like that. Let's just do a little tricep stretch here. And the other way. And you can bring your hand behind your head. Take the other hand over the elbow and do a nice tricep stretch this way. Patting your 
hips up on the back for the good job you're doing. And switch. Whew. A little shaky after that. <laughs> Making sure you breathe. And let's do one more set, okay? All right. Get back into position and lower and lift. Like you're trying to kiss the ceiling. Really engaging the triceps. Think about them. That makes them turn on. You're working your triceps. Three, two, one, and bring it down. All right, great job. Let's do some lateral stretch here. If you have a towel or uh, your band, I'm not sure where our band went. Is that our band? Okay. I'm going to take it in my right hand over my head. <clears throat> All right, feet hip width distance. And we're just going to come over in an arch, opening up the ribs, stretching out the obliques. Inhale, exhale, back to center and over. Inhale, exhale, back to center. This time I'm gonna use a little more resistance and pull him for a nice stretch. Inhale, exhale, back to center. And me. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Inhale, and exhale. Back to center. And then we're going to switch arms. We're going to turn around, I guess, and do it this way. All right. Inhale, exhale, over. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Inhale, exhale. Shh. Inhale, exhale, shh. back. Inhale, exhale. Shh. Inhale, exhale, shh. back. Inhale, and exhale. Shh. Sorry that you're getting this view right now. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Woo, opening up the ribs. Reaching tall. Inhale, exhale, back, stretching out those obliques. And back to center. Okay, great job. So, facing each other. I want to say thank you, Brent, for helping me today. Let's just take a nice cleansing inhale. We're going to swoop our arms down and up. Exhale. Inhale down and up and bring your arms down inhale exhale we're going to tuck our chin down and roll down feet hip width distance apart slowly roll down give that lumbar spine a nice beautiful stretch <laughs> and Zara came to say hello <laughs> good job and inhale exhale back up Rebuilding your spine, stacking it, rolling your shoulders back, growing tall through the crown of your head. And thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed everything. And now it is Prosecco time. Have a great evening. We'll see you next week. Bye.